Hi, I'm Frank Spear. I want to welcome you to this blog. You know, in my previous blog, I talked about how to get off single units um, using GC crown removal pliers when they were definitive restorations that had been temporarily cemented. And I mentioned in that blog that one of the times we often do temporarily cement restorations is if we have restorations on implants where we're concerned potentially about abutment screw loosening. Classically, with the external hex systems, we used to actually splint most of those restorations as a way of also trying to minimize abutment screw loosening. But the problem was when the abutment screw does come loose, how do you get those restorations off? So in the previous blog, I showed you how to use the GC crown removal plier and a fulcrum to pop off those restorations that were single units. What I'd like to do in this blog is share with you how to do the same concept, but we're gonna do a set of splinted implant restorations. In this instance, it's a patient I treated years ago, as in probably late 1980s, early 1990s, um, and she has some implants on the lower left. They are splinted restorations. They're placed with temporary cement, straight temp bond, and sure enough, years later, the abutment screws have loosened. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to basically create a fulcrum and use a toothbrush, not crown removal pliers, but actually use a toothbrush and actually two toothbrushes, well, a toothbrush and a little dental aid from the hygienist to create that same fulcrum. So let's go ahead and we'll watch the video. What I've done is to thread some floss through the contacts of the two splinted restorations. I'm tying a knot so that the, the floss is connected to those two restorations. You can see how wiggly they are. And now we're gonna take a toothbrush and I find large diameter ones that have that soft end on them, very effective. And we're now gonna tie the floss to that large toothbrush and multiple knots because obviously one's simply gonna slip. So we make multiple knots with the floss connecting it to the contact and then a second toothbrush is used in the anterior to act as our fulcrum, and now we push down in the front. And unfortunately, instead of the temporary cemented restorations coming loose, the floss broke. And that's not a big deal. I showed you that because I want you to realize that floss probably isn't the best thing to use when you're trying to use this technique. So what I'm gonna do is go get some orthodontic wire. We're gonna thread the orthodontic wire through there. And instead of using a second toothbrush as a fulcrum, in this next video, what you'll see is I simply use the, a little dental interproximal cleaner from our hygienist. It's got a smaller size. It's much easier to work with as a fulcrum. So we'll go ahead and we'll thread the orthodontic wire again through the contacts. And then we'll put our large toothbrush in place and using hemostats, we'll, we'll wrap a tight loop so that it's connected very well to the end of that toothbrush. And now what we have the opportunity to do is the same concept where we come in with our fulcrum and we push down in the front, which basically is pulling straight along the path of insertion in the posterior. And as I said before, the trouble typically is when you grab these restorations and twist, all you're doing is binding them on themselves. And sure enough, with the wire, the wire doesn't break. It takes a fair amount of force, to be honest, to make this pop, but sure enough, they pop off. And now we can tighten our abutment screws or in preference, even replace the abutment screws with newer abutment screws, torque them to place, and put the restorations back on. And you can use this same concept even across the anterior, except instead of having your fulcrum come out the side of the mouth, you typically have the fulcrum come straight forward and your hemostat is off to the side or your GC crown removal plier. So I, I hope this has helped you with some thoughts on how to remove splinted restorations that you might have temporarily cemented or even uh, splinted restorations that you might have permanently cemented but you want to try and remove them because you need to do endo on teeth or because you have to get to loose abutment screws. I've enjoyed sharing this with you and I look forward to seeing you again soon.